open Unreal Engine 5 in the optional displays make sure to go to film video and live events and select the virtual production so that we can have functionalities for VR scouting virtual cameras live compositing and much more at the start of content look for the same directory path as your project don't forget about that right so let's do this right now I'm gonna look for mine the directory path is called Venice Beach DJ student might have a little copy prefix on yours but let's make sure that the set destination is at this address right so select folder and select the project name let's call this one DJ underscore Venice Beach underscore comp and hit create right this will create the set project folder on your file explorer and let's just wait for everything to initialize and from there we're going to get started by importing the mesh and the textures so take a look at your set project folder you do have mesh assets we're going to import all the assets that we need we have a dj set to import so here's the uh, v project we don't need any of these awesome so let's right mouse click create a new folder right we're going to call this one mesh underscore dj set right mouse click set a color make it red open the file explorer right mouse click create a new folder let's call this one box set right mouse click set another color new color I'll make this one purple right mouse click again create a new folder let's call this one DJ set DJ set right there's a box and then there and there's a DJ set right mouse click again set the color doesn't matter it could be the same colors right so we want to make sure that we open the file explorer right mouse click show when explorer and we're going to drag and drop all those elements in there right so you can take unreal engine to minimize and we're going to drag and drop those mesh assets right so why don't we just first import under dj set which will be there it is new mixer mesh and textures right so we have everything in there from textures to the mesh as well all right so let's import let's uh, hit control c and hit control v on that dj set so that now we have that folder in why don't we also take the uh, mixer new mixer underscore mesh on the dj set could have named it something else too but and hit control v all right let's make sure that unreal detected everything so let's import and we're going to wait for the processing to initialize there it is import all there is no animation that's fine Let's do the same process now for the other one. So I want you to go to your box set, go back here, box set, open it. There it is. It's the same directory path right here. And let's also make sure that box mixer control C is pasted with control V on that file explorer. And let's also bring the textures with them so new mixer that's the dj set but new mixer box that will be the box what's in the box what's in the box you guys never seen seven okay all right so now that we've imported the textures let's open up unreal and let's import for yeah let's wait for all of your mesh to initialize and there it is import all 
Awesome. So that's it. You pretty much have everything in there for um, assets. And we're going to import also the animation. So let's go back to content. So that's the DJ set. Let's right mouse click again, set a new folder. And we're going to call this one Johnny underscore animation. All right, so we're going to import the character in there and the animation right mouse click. Let's set a color again. We'll make it red or let's do this one green. New color. Let's make it green. Awesome. All right, so that's Johnny animation. Now, you're still open in the file explorer in Unreal. Don't forget, right? So if I go back to content, there's the Johnny animation folder. Right, so we can easily just open it. And what we're going to do is go back to the set project folder that we have. This is your Dropbox link. This is the Unreal directory path. Don't forget, because it says con uh, content. A lot of people get confused, right? Because so many uh, explorers open. So we're going to look for the character animation. There's Johnny. I want you to take that Johnny character anim that we have. Hit Control C and paste it there. Hit Control V. Right, what an easy way to just import stuff to Unreal. Right, without any issues. So, import. Actually, for animation, that usually gets some form of issue sometimes. But uh, on the uh, FBX import options, please do not forget. Do not forget to check mark the import animation so that now you have animation in. Import all. It will detect the uh, materials embedded with um, that FBX. So we're going to also import those textures in right here, but only one folder. And you'll notice that we do have some notifications, smoothing groups, or uh, wasn't found in the FBX, but that's fine. If you select the uh, Johnny character animation right here, it will be the second drop. Double left mouse click just to make sure that the animation is set. All right now, we're not finished yet because we're going to drag and drop one texture only we already have the textures embedded but i have my own textures right so i want you to drag and drop or hit control c and under right under johnny right here i want you to my apologies that right here let's uh under johnny character anim that's content that's johnny animation let's do it right here there it is. Under Johnny Character Anim.fbm, I want you to paste the new texture. There it is. Import. And just make sure that it pops in right here. There it is. There's the diffuse. And there should be a new texture. There it is. Right. So we're going to import this texture onto Johnny's animation. Right, so it automatically set a material called character20 underscore body. I want you to double left mouse click. And what do you know? We already have everything set. This is the beauty of working with um, Motion Builder. It embeds the FBX. And look at that. It already created our material. It's just, it's too beautiful. It's just beautiful. So we're going to look for the uh, new texture sample. Uh, so let's see what it's called right first. The texture sample is called Johnny underscore character 20 SG, just some really complicated prefix. So why don't we just put Johnny underscore in there? Let's do Johnny J O N, and you'll notice that we have two of them. There it is, that's the complex one, right? Select Johnny underscore character 20 SG base color. That was long. Right, and you'll take a look at your material. That sphere now carries the uh, 3D for Dummies logo and hit save. All right, we're going to test the character now. Open up the content folder and open the character animation. And there it is. So now we have that new texture inside and our amazing and just adorable baby doge look at that baby doge it's just so adorable jeez you're so adorable look at you look at you look at you all right so that'll be it for the character animation and all the assets
Now, there's one last thing that I want to cover before we move on to uh, compositing. It is the uh, textures for the DJ set. It'll be up to you to add the, um, the textures for it. So if you select the mesh DJ set, open it. There's the DJ set, right? You'll notice that we have quite a few materials. Um, I'm going to do one material, but you will be responsible for the rest of them. So this is how this works. Double left mouse click on your DJ set. Select the mixer cover, right? That will be the uh, cover for this DJ set. Right here, mixer cover. We're going to start with something big. Double left mouse click. Delete the param 2 node. It's a param 2D node. Hit delete or hit backspace. And here's what I want you to do. Uh, drag and drop the textures for this mixer, right? So we need to first type the material name, which will be, there it is, mixer cover. So I want you to select the search bar and type mixer cover. And you'll notice that now the prefix has been detected and we have the mixer cover base color, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. Drag and drop them onto the graph editor and it's as easy as one, two, three. RGBA with normals for the normals right here. It'll tell you exactly what those are specifically, right? Normal. This one will be my metalness. So RGBA to metallic. Let's work with this one too. This will be a uh, height. So that's the uh, RGBA to specular. This will be my base, I can already tell. RGB to base color. There are no alphas in there. And for the last one, I do believe this will be the roughness. So RGBA to roughness. So now that we have that covered, hit apply and save your material. You can now go back to the, to the mixer and you'll notice that this has been set. So uh, I want you to practice a little bit with the uh, textures. Add them for the wires, button, spins, AI standard surface. I do believe that the Lambert one is just an anonymous one, possibly, so you might need to avoid this texture. I'll see you when you finish these textures. Why don't we uh, take a look at the outliner and under template geometry, we want to keep just this SM floor disk, so control select pretty much everything else and right mouse click and delete, go to edit, and delete pretty much everything in there so that we still have a clean plate right here. All right, so let's go to edit and look for plugins. And under plugins, let's type C-O-M-P-O. -O. And you'll notice that we have a composite plane, make sure that this is turned on and the composure plugin as well. So this will ask you to uh, restart, but make sure that you have the composure plugin check mark, right? So before I do anything, so save your work, hit save and select composite plane and set yes for a restart. So after the, you check marked the plugins, I want you to go back to edit project settings and you're gonna type alpha, A-L-P-H-A and under engine rendering, please make sure that the alpha channel support is set to linear color space only. You will need to restart just in case if you only have disabled or allow through tone mapper so let's make sure that you get that set. So why don't we import our assets now? Look for mesh DJ assets. And let's bring the box set first. If you didn't add, apply textures, let's do it together one more time, right? Here's the uh, box assets. Here's corners. We're going to do this really quick. Double left mouse click and hit backspace to delete this uh Param to the node, and let's look for its textures. Uh, it's pretty simple, right? Because you have corners, so just select 
the search bar, hit the corner, and there's your corner texture elements. All right, so let's do this quick. Roughness with roughness. This will be the uh, normal. Right, this will be your base color, RGB base color. This will be your, that's your normal. This will be your uh, metalness. That's the height, RGBA to specular and apply and save. Let's do the same thing for the next one. All right, so here is box, double left mouse click, select the param node, hit backspace, backspace again. The material is called box. What's in the box? I'll tell you what's in the box. Nothing. Shift select the five textures, drag and drop. Let's do this quick to all together. RGBA with normals. There it is. Roughness, RGBA through roughness. Next one will be. Oops, that was my roughness right here. My apologies. What was this? Okay, metalness. No. Right mouse click. Break links. So this was my roughness. This will be the uh, diffuse right here, base color. And this will be my specular. All right, that's pretty much it. Hit apply and hit save. Right, you can take a look at your uh, mixer and look how beautiful that is. Yeah, 3D for dummies. Welcome. Close it. Go back to the box set. Make sure that you close the search bar. And now we can drag and drop our elements in there. Right, so we have the table first. Let's rotate the table. We have a snap options. Right, hit F to zoom in. Let's do the same thing for the other DJ set. There it is. Drag and drop it. It's extremely small, so just make sure that you apply this DJ set on top of the table and scale it. Next, look for Windows, Virtual Productions, and Composure Compositing. I want you to go back to Windows and have your layers available. Checkmark that and just make sure that it's set right here. We're going to create a, our first composure layer so right mouse click and create a new comp empty comp shot there it is you don't need you could rename it whatever you like but i'll just keep the default settings for this one awesome right mouse click on the comp node and add layer element now this will be our media plate this is where we will add the uh, video or the image sequence select media plate there it is all right so now we're going to create an image sequence node in order for us to send that to the media plate right mouse click go to media and we're going to look for image media source why don't we call this one image media source Hit F2, and right at the end, put an underscore and put VB for Venice Beach. Double left mouse click and look for the directory path of this sequence path right here, right? So open up the file explorer. Now I want you to look for your directory path, so it'll be under the same set project folder. But you do have a folder called image sequence, so select image sequence. And select the first image hit open save minimize now i would like you to right mouse click again go to media and create a media player it is very important for you to check mark the video output media texture asset so please do so and hit ok All right so this one's called media player why don't we put an underscore VB for Venice Beach. I want you to double left mouse click on this media player. 
And this is pretty much what we have so far. Right? Media player, there it is. New media player VB. Awesome. So we created the image sequence node and the media player. And you'll notice that the media player also created a material, as you can see. You can double check the uh, video player, double left mouse click, just to make sure that the video and image sequence is currently playing and active. So you see a couple of people walking. And right at the end, you'll see this really weird guy coming in, listening to the music. Okay, so let's uh, minimize this. We're going to look for blueprint, open level blueprint class right here. Awesome. We're going to create a variable. And let's call this one Venice Beach underscore media player. Hit enter. And I want you to uh, select this variable. It is a Boolean right now. So left mouse click on the Boolean right here. And I want you to type media player. Right. And you'll have the media player option under object types. Select the first optional display. Left mouse click so that now it will only understand that image sequence. I want you to drag and drop the media player and get VB Media Player, get the first option in hand. Let's open this up. I want you to uh, either extend this one and type open source. Make sure that the context is uh, sensitive. Open the open source node. Set the media source select assets and there's our new image sequence vb that's very important for us to set that properly in order for the uh, media player to understand the node right here right or oh, that the node understands the uh, media player i want you to set the event begin player right here there's a uh, drop down right here just make the connection from one triangle to the other if you hit compile and notice that we have a new default value that merged right here, VB Media Player. Just make sure that you select the new media player right here, not Media Bundle 1 and 2. Escape these, but just select this one. Right, so that now everything is set and hit Compile. All right, so let's see how well this works. We're going to go back to our scene. You can also double left mouse click on the media player Right, just to make sure that the image sequence is currently working. So that will be it for this image sequence. Now, the next thing I want to do is to actually go back to my uh, composure node right here. If you select the media plate, open up the details options right here. And underneath input, Make the drop down right here and set the media source to texture input, right? So that's composure, input, inputs. There's one array element. You can create one if you don't have one yet. I want you to drag and drop this new material. Now, it's the material, not the media player, not the image sequence, but the material, which withholds all the image sequence in there, right? You can double left mouse click and see if it plays. You can save it if you like. But you'll notice that we have an image in there and then drag and drop it onto the texture input. Right, so at least now the media player can understand that media plate. All right, we're going to create uh, some layers too, right? So let's right mouse click and create an empty layer. This will allow us to work like a um, display layer. You know, the ones that we have inside of Maya. So pretty much the same thing. And we're going to call this one, well, FG for foreground. I want you to select both elements right here, both meshes. Right mouse click on the foreground elements and add selected actors to selected layers. Now you can also create a new one based on the selection if you like. But now that allows me to turn on and off everything. Why don't we import the animation as well? Under Johnny Animation, 
we already have everything set, right? So we can just drag and drop the new DJ. Set him in place. If you would like to see your character live, use Alt S to play the animation live. Right? You can hit Escape to close the simulation. Rotate the character, put him in place, and that should be it. If you feel like you want to scale the character as well, feel free to scale the character. There it is. Just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. No, he's too big. There we go. Awesome. Right? So, next step will be to select the animation, select the FG layer, right mouse click, and add selected actors to selected layers. Makes sense, right? So that now you can turn on and off our character. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. All right, so we're going to create um, some shadows, right? So let's go to planes right here for shapes. Plane. Create a plane. Scale it. Put it down right here. All right, let's make sure that it blends in with the animation. There it is. Awesome. All right, you can scale the plane. Awesome. We still have shadows. We don't really need this uh, SM floor disk, so you can go to Outliner, and you don't need to delete it yet, but just turn it off on the eyedrop. And while we have the plane selected, let's turn on the snaps. Hit E for rotational values. Hold the Alt button. Alt will allow you to duplicate. And since we have snaps on, this helps eventually, right? All right, let's do the same thing again for the plane one more time. Hit E, Alt, and Rotate. And push that back to the side right here. All right, so now we have everything we need for our shadows. Let's go back to our layers. And I want you to select all three planes. Right mouse click on the layers and add selected actors to a new layer. We're going to call this one floor. There we go. While all three elements are selected, I want you to right mouse click again and add selected actors to a new layer again. And we'll call this one shadow. All right, so now that we have these already set, we can easily Take a look at our layers, and we're going to do the same thing for the composure layers at the same time, right? So, right, select the uh, comp node right here, right mouse click, and add a layer element. This will be a CG layer, right? This will be for the floor. So, select the layer and type floor. I want you to select the floor, right mouse click, and duplicate it. Rename the floor to Shadows. Alright, now it's time for us to actually add arrays to these layers. Select the floor and look for the Details panel. Scroll down to Composure. And let's also make sure that we create an array element. Create an array element, drop down index, and under actor set, right? This will be for the floor. And we also need one for the foreground, by the way, but we're going to do the floor for right now. Floor three actors. There we go. See that? And now we have that panel on the back plate. Let's create a foreground element too. Select the comp node, right mouse click, and add a, the, pretty much the last layer element. It'll be a CG layer and type FG just like the layer. FG for foreground. Now we got the floor. I know I don't want to confuse anyone, but we're going to do the foreground too. And we'll do the shadow last. Select the foreground layer. 
look for inputs under composure, create an array element, drop down menu on index, look for actor set. And under none, now we have these layers right here called foreground that we can fully manipulate, as you can see. Select the actor set and create that foreground layer. And now you'll notice that our character is in with negative space, which is alpha. Those are alpha channels. So let's uh, create the shadows as well. Select the shadows. Look for composure, inputs, add an array under the inputs right here, or capture actors, my apologies, add an array, drop down index, and let's look for actor set. So for the shadows, we will select the foreground actor. We're going to create another array element, and there it is, index 1. Actors set and look for floor. So, so now we have the foreground and the floor on the shadows. You can also take a look at the media plate. It also recognizes the image sequence. And if it is not plain, just so that you can get used to it, just double left mouse click on the media player and double left mouse click on the image sequence. You can minimize it so that you can see it live on the back plate. Take a look at the back plate. Everything seems to be working properly. You can close it, right? And we're going to create also a, a blueprint. Let's create a new material. Let's go to VProd Project. There's a, a material folder. Double left mouse click. Right mouse click and create a material. Let's call this one M underscore compositing. Compositing. There it is. Awesome. I want you to double left mouse click on this new material. Now we have the material called M compositing. I want you to look at its blend mode. It's under opaque. Um, no, actually we're going to set this to post process under material domain. So my apologies. Post process under material domain so that now we have this set for compositing only. All right. Very cool. Let's uh, right mouse click and create a parameter. So type param and look for the texture simple parameter 2D. You could type parameter 2D if you like, but if you select or if you type param, you'll notice that the uh, texture param 2D will be right there. So look for it. I'll give you some time. Awesome. So we're going to call this one foreground FG, just like the layers, right? So we don't want to get lost over this. We're going to create uh, an over node. So let's select a RGBA and release type over. Over composure. There it is. I want you to select the uh, foreground param to the node. Hit control W so we can duplicate that node. Hit control W. Oh, doesn't seem to work. That's fine. Hit Control W. Select the foreground node and hit Control D to duplicate it. All right, we're going to call this one floor, just like the layers. Hit Control D again. This one will be for shadows. So floor shadows we're going to use a uh, divide node for both of them All right so let's look for rgba type divide so floor doesn't really matter but uh, i would prefer to have the shadow first on a and b so let's do this let's do the floor on b and let's do the uh, shadows on a Right, so we have shadows on A for the divide and floor on B. Right, uh, let's also take a look at the uh, the name of my media plate, media underscore plate one. So let's hit control D again, control D to create the uh, media plate node. 
let's call this one media underscore plate underscore or actually just one just like your comp node right media plate one we're going to create a multiply divider so rgba release and type multiply multiply awesome I want to make sure that my uh, divide is on A and that my RGBA for this one will be on B. All right, so take a look at the uh, formula really quick. We're going to take that multiply divider right here and drag it to B. All right, so let's recap this. Shadows and floors on divide node, divide straight to multiply A. Media plate RGBA to B, and then after take that multiply divider under the B optional display right here, and A will have the foreground. All right, we can then take the RGBA to the emissive color. I want you to save your work and apply for everything, double check for any issues that might come across. So now that we have the formula and pretty much everything else, you'll notice that under the comp node right here, nothing happens. It is empty. So we will need to add something to it, right? Some material. Uh, remember where the material stands, it's on the VProd project for me. So I'm going to set a color for it. I'll click, set a color under material so I never get lost and I know where my comp node is right here. Right, so here's what I need you to do is to select the comp node, look for the details optional display. Now we're not looking for composure, but we're looking for transform compositing passes, drop down menu. And I want you to add an array. It will not have an array, so just create one. I had to delete mine, but do create an array. Stick with the compositing elements at this point, drop down menu and drag and drop the new material onto the transform pass. So this will allow you to have a good visual of the clean plate, right? The back plate along with the media plate. Awesome. So if I select the comp node, yes, actually we don't see the background, but don't forget that if you go to content, and double left mouse click on the media player, that's the media player, just activate it so that you can have a uh, pretty good display along with the characters. And voila, there it is. So now we have the character in along with the media plate, but you'll notice that we need to set some adjustments, right? So now we can scale our character. You'll notice that the light is uh, just a little bit weird. So we're going to create a backdrop, HDRI. This is actually the easiest part of this tutorial, right? So please make sure that you save all of your work. You will need to restart Unreal Engine for this. I want you to go to Edit and go to Plugins. And other plugins, I want you to type HDRI. And make sure that the HDRI backdrop is available. Awesome. When Unreal Engine has restarted, look for Create, Lights, and you'll notice that the HDRI backdrop has now opened, selected, and you'll notice that we have another drop. So we can roll with the, with the default settings if you like. You can also, um, if you are interested, add a new HDRI if you uh, want. So let's uh, take a look at the HDRI and there's the approach right, there's the cube map. And we don't have, uh, I think that we have some other optional displays in there. So see which one fits best. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find one with the beach close by. This one's called Epic Quad Panorama, uh, which doesn't look that bad. Uh, we have some blues in there, just like Venice Beach. Uh, so I can roll with this one, or maybe we can roll with another one. There's also an HDRI folder if you uh, would like to experiment with that. But that just gives me more flexibility with the light. If you take a look at the character, the character is not so bright anymore. We can also take a look at the skylight as well. We can minimize the light. But if I were to go back to my composure node now, we have the HDRI backdrop. There it is. 
comp node. Here it is. We can also double left mouse click on the media player. Right, so that this is currently live playing. You can take a look at the backdrop. Yeah, we have a lot of light involved, right? So this is way too bright. So we're going to take care of the lighting issue in just a second. So if the HDRI gives you a little bit of issues with the lighting, you can also just temper with the sunlight as well. Uh, you'll notice that if I do at the uh, HDRI, here's what happens sometimes. It's it, it happens. It's not perfect, but you'll notice that we have a uh, glitch. Let's look at the sky light. Drop down and set the threshold for the sky distance just a little bit down so that you don't have any flickering um, issues, right? So if you take a look at the backdrop along with the character, um, yeah, the uh, media source does not loop. So select the loop and save the media player, right? So they'll always play constantly at a loop. One last thing, uh, select both of the walls in the back and scroll down on their details and make sure to turn off their casting shadows, right? So turn them off. Cast shadows are turned off. Let's create a camera for the comp node. Go to create. Cinematic. Cine camera actor. Let's rename this camera. Hit F2. We'll call this one Cine camera actor underscore C-O-M-P for comp. This will be our comp camera. And let's take a look at the comp node right here. And under the comp node, I want you to look for the inputs, target camera actor, and simply select the new one that we have in so that now we can select the camera through our perspective. Cine camera actor comp, right? And we can blend our mesh along with the live plate right so let's make sure that we have that set and you'll notice that yes some things overlap with alpha channels but that's fine right so i want to find a good perspective for the dj set right so if you take a look at the 3d perspective uh, through these pillars i want to make sure that i have the same one on the dj set as well right so it should be right here the textures seems to blend in perfectly, so that's very, very nice. Now we have the character in. We can save our work, so we have the camera set. I'm going to close my comp node, and you'll notice that we have a, a few things that overlap, so let's close the pilot actor, and we're going to take this mesh and scale it so that we don't have anything that overlaps anymore. And same thing with the floor. Just scale it out. So if you take a look at the at the comp node now, we don't have any alpha channels blocking away. So now that we have everything in, take a look at the comp node. We have our character and the backplate open along with the HDRI. Yes, it still flickers just a bit. We'll take care of that through the threshold. Uh, we're going to create a new level sequencer. So let's make sure that we create a level sequence. And uh, let's just build it right here. Let's call it DJ underscore Venice. And save the sequencer. We're going to drag and drop the animation. We're not going to waste any time now. Uh, let's take our character in, Johnny character, drag and drop it. Right. We also need the uh, camera. Right. So we need the uh, camera for the plate. Let's look for Cine Camera Actor Comp. There it is. Drag and drop it there as well. So now we have a camera cut underneath the uh, Johnny character animation. Make sure to select the animation, select the clip and make sure that you now you're in full control of the clip. Awesome. All right. We're almost there. Look for the track node and on the track, I want you to select media track. Now the media track will allow you to slide in fully manipulate that image sequence. I want you to select media and select a new image sequence right here. New image media source underscore VB. That's how I know this is my image sequence, right? And underneath this one, we're going to drag and drop it until 
keyframe 150. I know that the animation is way longer than this, right? So if you take a look at the anim for the character, scroll down, that'll be control middle mouse drag. Let's push that here, as we see. Push the media player there, 15, 16. So now we have everything in. But it's not really controlling anything yet, right? So what we want to do is right mouse click go to properties and under properties you'll notice that the media texture is not recognized yet select the new media player which is right here you can see that we have an image in there and that will be it so now you can control your image sequence now you don't clearly see anything just because we need to set the camera cut right here and expand it to 1500 right if you select the camera right now Play the animation. Awesome. If you select the comp node, right, you are now in full control of your animation. Yay! Almost there. Let's uh, look at look at the uh, content browser. Let's import that audio. You could just drag and drop it onto the scene. Let's look for Johnny character anim. Now we're gonna go back to the set project folder that we have. We're going to take that lullaby six. We're going to drag and drop it onto the content folder. So now we have an audio in there. I want you to open the uh, level sequencer. And uh, let's make sure that the level sequencer is there. I don't really see it yet. There it is. So let's take that out. Doesn't really matter. We're going to drag and drop the audio there don't really see it but here it is quite a few things involved right so just be very careful let's take the sequencer back to where it's supposed to be um, i'm sorry for all the confusion but let's make sure that the audio is there synchronize it with everything else you can hit spacebar all right so the audio is definitely playing we have the clean plate in we do have a little flicker in there so let's take care of that flicker and look for the camera sky or the sky light uh, should be the sunlight actually and um, i'm gonna look for that distance threshold um it could be under the skylight actually yeah distance threshold so i'm gonna bring that down just a bit and you'll notice that the uh, flicker has uh, disappeared and if it ever happens just tone the threshold down a little bit more right until we don't have any more glitters and that will be it so now you can render everything out through your level sequencer and bring it back to After Effects. All right, so let's uh, play the animation. There we go. Now, the uh, mixer is a little bit too small, so I'm going to hit F on that mixer and scale it until it looks decent. There we go, so that looks like a real mixer. Awesome, right? So let's bring that up just a bit. See, that looks like a real mixer. And play the animation again. Awesome. So we're going to render this, and hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. This is Unreal Engine 5, live compositing. Well, not quite live, but <laughs> it is definitely live uh, through the uh, sequencer, along with the backdrop, backplates, and whatsoever. And have a great week.